Hey guys, it's Helen. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I also have TikTok where I've been posting my packaging videos. And you can see some of that on TikTok. And check out my Instagram as well. I'm going to put the tooth chocolate in this box here. And I have some confetti on the bottom. There's a window opening when you close the box. This is the tooth mode that I'm making the chocolate in. I'm going to put some stuff underneath the chocolate for when it gets broken. So I'm putting a toothbrush, toothpaste, and some floss. You'll need scissors, a hammer to break the chocolate, a plastic covering, and some ribbon here to tie it up. You'll also need candy melts, so I have some white chocolate candy melts. I'm going to be melting mines in this bowl here, and I just have a pot underneath with water in there. I also have some Crisco to have a runny consistency for the chocolate when I'm melting it. I'm also going to be using the spatula to mix up the chocolate. You can melt your chocolate in the microwave as well, and I can show you guys how to do it this way. So let's get started! I'm starting off by turning my heat on medium and then once it boils up a little bit, I'll turn the heat down to low. While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I'm just going to prepare for inside the box when it gets broken. I'm just placing the goodies inside so I have the toothbrush and the toothpaste and I'm putting the floss here. Next, I'm just going to cover up the hammer with the plastic covering. So I'm just placing it inside and I'm using the piece of ribbon to tie it together. So just double knotting the ribbon. And then I'm just tying a little bow. So now I'm just cutting the excess ribbon off. Here is how it looks when the plastic covering is over the hammer. I'm just going to leave this on the side for now and place it inside after I put the tooth chocolate in. So while I'm waiting for the water to boil, I'll show you how I melt the chocolate in the microwave. So I have some chocolate in a microwavable bowl right here. And I'm just taking a little bit of the shortening and placing it inside. This will give the chocolate a really good consistency when it melts. And I'm just going to start off with a little bit here. Now I'm going to melt it in 30 second intervals. And I'm going to keep checking after every 30 seconds. As you can see, the chocolate's not melted yet. So I'm going to put another 30 seconds. Okay, let's check the chocolate. Here's how it looks. So it's not quite melted yet. And you'll just keep repeating this until the chocolate is melted. Here's how the chocolate looks and you'll just keep repeating this until you have a really runny consistency and once it's runny, you can pour it up in the tooth mode. So now that the water is boiled, I'll show you how I melt the chocolate in the bowl. I just put a little bit of the shortening in here and I'm melting the chocolate. So I'm just going to keep mixing the chocolate until it's melted all the way. Once the chocolate's been melted, it should have a really nice and runny consistency, just like this. And now it's ready to pour up into the mold. So I'm just going to pour all of the chocolate into the mold and then I will pour the excess out. So I'm just going to put the chocolates all over the sides of the mold to make sure that it's covered. And we're going to do this twice. So after this, I'm going to place it in the freezer so the chocolate can harden up. And then I'm going to put the chocolate once again. 
So if you can't get all of the chocolate along the sides of the mold, you can just use your spatula and move the chocolate all around. And you just want a really thin layer of the chocolate, so all of the excess chocolate should be poured out and back into the bowl so you can use it for the second time. I'm just going to pour a little bit of it out because there's still a lot of excess chocolate in here. Might get a little bit messy because this is a pretty big mold. I'm just using my spatula to put some excess chocolate around the corners of the tooth. This is the most important spot to put chocolate so it doesn't break when you're taking it apart. I'm just going to use a paper towel to wipe all of the excess chocolate on the top of the mold off here. So now this is ready to be placed in the freezer for 7 minutes. Now I'm going to put the chocolate mold into the freezer for 7 minutes. There's just a couple minutes left, so I'm just going to melt the chocolate so I can put the second layer. And again, you want to have a really nice and runny consistency for the chocolate. So I just took the chocolate out and there's a pretty thick layer on the bottom. I'm just going to do the second layer for the sides. So I'm just going to use my spatula and put chocolate all over the sides of the mold. So for the second layer of the chocolate, it's going to set pretty fast. So you want to go pretty quick when you're putting the second layer of chocolate on. Now I'm just going to put it in for another 7 minutes. So after the second layer has hardened up for 7 minutes in the freezer, I just took it out here. And now you want to take the chocolate out of the mold and what you do is pull the silicone mold away from the chocolate. So be really careful when you're doing this so you don't break the chocolate. Just want to peel really slowly. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. 
subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. Bye!